the last race of my calling today. This will be the John Smith Cup. And that is a massive field. Just going to take you through some of the fancy runners. Grand Gesture, 12 to 1. Some outside support. Traps in, 10 to 1. Ready, Salted, 8 to 1. Uh, Wushong Grasser, sorry for the pronoun. I hope that's correct. 8 to 1. You can find uh, the favorite si uh, sign of the times. Darren Hinton, 5 to 2. Favorite. And for such a big field, you must think he's really confidently fancied. Heimke, that is 11 to 1 for Hunts. Loud Salvestris, 14 to 1, Darren Owls. And then absolutely take your pick with odds for the remaining runners. You can get any price at the books. And hopefully you want, you're on one of them. And if it's your lucky day today, you'll be cashing out big money. Are oh, they sent on their way in the John Smith's Cup? It's a line of horses. And a few running very close to the cameraman. So let's just give them some time to settle down around that first turn as they all hopefully will head to the inside and stop running outside the rail. So Heinmaker is in front here for Hunts as usual. He goes to the front. He's in front by three. Graceful Oryx is in second. Then you can find Loud Silvestris. Sign of Times, the favorite, showing good early signs right up there in the early vanguard, having a perfect rail run. He's looking good. Further by rain, end of the earth is up there, which uh, then you can find Red Sky. Imping Arepo, the doctor, valid point is at the back with who's that wise kid. Then you can find Leia and the JRE who's going to be at the back with quick another record uh, record plant. And then uh, a long way back to Ready Salted. So five and a half now. They're all in the track this time around. It's going to be Haimaku still in front looking to do it from start to finish. Look at the favorite. Sign of the times. Absolutely eating up the turf. He's in second. He's traveling smoothly. Graceful Lorex is in third. Then you can find Loud Silvestris. Grand Gesture starting to prove, improve very smartly. That hits to the rail now. So there's four furlongs left to go in the John Smith's Cup. It's going to be Heimaker, but he's been tackled left, right, center. You take your pick. Grand gesture, little girl blue is up there. Loud Salvestris, he makes his voice heard. You can find Blue Factory also in the mix now. Red Sky is running on from the back. Improved by rain. There's two and a half to go in the John Smith's Cup, and Grand gesture now tackles the front runner. Mighty Bright uh, Bing Tone is up there with Loud Salvestris. Traveling well, Wuchin Grasser is up there on the outside. Mighty Bring uh, Bing Tone is now starting to improve nicely. They enter the last furlong here, and Grand Gesture might have gotten away from them. The favorite now gets set on his duties. He gets his vision straight, and he now tears up the ground. But Grand Gesture is trying to keep them at bay. Margaret Court running on, but Grand Gesture got them. Grand Gesture got them. What a win! What a lovely win here for Grand Gesture. Stephen ran in the winner's box. And that is how you do it. He's been so unlucky. His form reads three, uh, third, second, third, fourth. And now, um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. He's in the winner's box for Steve Rand. Grand Jester won a cracking race, 12 to 1. Margaret Court, not disgraced. Sign of the times. Well, he was in the race, but he just didn't finish it off. Record plant came from the clouds. Loud Sylvester ran a cracker. Then further back, ready salted, improved, quick another. The grey escaped, but at the end of the day, they were never going to catch Grand Gesture. Have a good week. From South Africa, I'm saying goodbye. Have a blessed one. Cheers.